Welcome. So we're going to be working through homework um, four, problem eleven, and I'm going to be doing an example along the way to finding some vectors and matrices. It's not going to be the exact same example with the exact same matrices and vectors, but it's going to be pretty similar, and hopefully it's going to give you an intuition on how to do problems in general. So I'm going to restate the question here. So the question is given a vector z, which I'm just going to find is one zero one. Find a vector. W. In order to find W, I'm going to have to define S. So S is just going to be the identity matrix. So that's 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. In S minus A, and so I need to define A really quickly. So A is just going to be 1, 0, 0. And that makes S of A, of course, just the um, a second and third columns here. Of course, this was W down there just the second and third columns, so that's 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, such that, such that the span of S equals the span of S union with Z minus W. And so if you're confused about this last little part, all you need to understand is that you're taking away a vector from S and you're replacing it with Z and you need to maintain the original span. And in order to illustrate how you do this, we're gonna start by choosing a wrong vector. And that wrong vector is going to be W2. So first over here, we're gonna uh, take away W2 and slide in Z and, and create that new matrix, which looks like this. Do it row wise. Great. So what I'm going to claim is that the span here of this matrix does not equal the span of S. And if you recall, S is just an identity matrix. And that's, just, and that's uh, pretty obviously true because you can create this vector down here, but you can't doing it this way. S union Z cannot create this vector that this span of S could create. And that's because you've got a row here of all zeros. So no matter what you plug in, you're not going to be able to get this one. Great, so that's the wrong way to do it. And of course, uh, that leads you to the correct answer, which is W3, just by process of elimination, because you can only select from two here. You can only select from two. So if it's not that, if it's not W2, then it's gotta be W3. But I wanna show you how you can do it right for a larger set of vectors in general. So the way that you can do this is just by looking at S, which is just the identity matrix, times Z, and that's gonna give you back Z. And now you say, well, how does that help me? Well, if you look at Z, you're gonna notice that it's one, zero, one. And if you put that sort of at the bottom of S, so redraw S really quick here, one, zero, one, and you can only select from these two columns. And if you notice, you've got a one here, and that's gonna give you your solution, which is W3. Now, why is that the case? It's because um, if you take away two here, you're not gonna be able to create this one. You're not gonna be able to create anything in that row and get this one. But if you take away um, W3 here uh, and replace it with Z, which of course you recall is 101, then you've got something that you can put in that third row. And that's why, so solution finished, done. I hope that helped.